Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2, and attempt 4 of my hardcore Nuzlocke of Pokemon Reborn. Wait, hold on a minute. Attempt 4? You said that last episode you were continuing attempt 3. What happened to that? I hear you saying. Well, if you really want to go see that attempt, it will be on my VODs channel of previous streams that I've done, which also include the contents of said attempt 4, so go check that out as well as following me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash English underscore rebel to catch me live streaming this kind of content. And, without any further ado, let's recap. <laughs> Talk about the best boy paladin, Wooper. Die, restart, train crash, Victoria, soft reset for hot wings, fight rival, fight rival 2, rat ratata, peach skitty, onion purloin, leftovers trubbish, corn cricketot, sprout budu, baby food whizma, olive gulpin, mint mincino, fountain pample, origini blitzel, ant grubbin, lemon juice surskit, shiny event pachirisu, eel tynamo, cotton candy iggly buff. Forget to save, redo everything and new shiny pachirisu. Turkey delight, fight idiot 3. Enter the factory, get stuck in an elevator, fight dynamic duo, escape blown up building, fight Julia, lose Origini because of forgetting aftermath, lose Squirrel because of forgetting aftermath, nuts clink, apple pie noomal, spaghetti onyx, lettuce hop hip, Victoria defeated, crab crab ruler, scrafty gang, tortilla lotad, cane defeated, shiny grimer named yogurt, raspberry glam meow, ice cream vanillite, Use cut to enter forest, beat true oddish, gumball coughing, Victoria captured, fight Zell, leftovers sweep. <sighs> and that's about where we left off last episode. So, let's continue with our regularly scheduled format. We head over to the patch of grass and change the time of day in order to get better chances at Pokemon more favourable than if we encounter something at night. As you probably gathered from last episode where weather and time affect types of encounter, and also event Pokemon. With that in mind, we find a Bonsley and name it Bait. We then head into the same alleyway we found Coughing, and grab a Plusle we named Chip, that could have some use thanks to Clink having the Minus ability. We then make our way into the Onyx Ward, and try to enter the school to challenge Florinia. However, Fern stops us when we enter, and blocks off the entrance so we can't get in. So, we make our way to the other entrance that is being guarded by a trainer, but we defeat them, and have access to the school. Defeating all the trainers, we encounter a student named Hardy that helps us unlock the door in our path that has a knack to opening it. We then answer all the questions, thanks to Google, and begin to formulate a team to take on Fern, who guards the entrance to the gym fight. He starts off with a sandal, which we can take out easily with Sprout. So, then he goes into his own Roselia. I switch to Hot Wings and defeat the Roselia while getting poisoned by Poison Point. Fern then sends in the devil himself Dartrix, who was pluck really early in the game. So we switch to Spaghetti to resist, and outspeed next turn with a Rock Tomb thanks to Weak Armor, reducing Dartrix's speed for the rest of the fight. Razorleaf then misses, and we are able to get off another Rock Tomb to reduce their speed even more. However this time it connects, and being quad weak to grass, he goes down. Rest in peace Spaghetti, you will be missed. We then switch to Apple Pie, who can finish the fight with a Flame Burst. Fern is then incredibly salty and decides that he should take on the Reborn League as well, even though he always gets crushed by me. After that loss, we now get access to Pineapple the Pichu and to Duck in the Spearow. We then spend some time leveling up and making a strategy to defeat Julia. In the fight, Julia starts off with Maractus and we start with Tadukkan, who can outspeed and kill them in one hit. They then send in Ferroseed, so we switch to Apple Pie to exploit the quad effective type while Ferroseed sets up a Sandstorm. They then send in Cradilly, where we switch out to Olive who can Toxic while Cradilly sets up with Stockpile. We then attack twice with Acid Spray and take a lot of damage, so we switch to Sprout who can take the hit and attack back with Giga Drain, regaining some lost health. Then they send in Cacnea who hits us with a Pin Missile on the switch, but we take them out easily. Then comes Embraloon, so we pivot into Lemon Juice to get the Intimidate off, but they get hit with Spore so we have to switch again into Sprout, who cannot be put to sleep and can slowly take out the Lombre. And finally the Cottony comes in, so we switch to Gumball, who can take them out, winning us the battle. We then get the TM for Nature Power, 
when Amari arrives to give us some news about the new Pulse and Jasper and tells us they have permitted us entry. We then grab Cabbage the Petalil, take on the fake daycare couple, save the real daycare couple, find Pot Pie the Spoink, poach the Happini, get the item finder from a doctor we'll see in a later episode, grab an egg for saving the daycare couple, and finally get Pomba the stuff. Talking to the police officer allows us entry into the Jasper ward, where we see a young girl named Heather and her father exit the police station. Heading in ourselves, we find out that the chief's team has gone missing and asks us to find them and return them back to the station. We then get our encounters for the area. Skewer the Beedrill, Peanut the Amolga, and in Maltrius Forest, we get Bell Pepper the Bell Scrap. Exploring Maltrius Forest, we find it overgrown like Obsidia, and after cutting down some trees, we meet back up with Heather, who ditched her father to explore and take down Dean Meteor, even after her father's warnings. We find one of the missing police officers, and then encounter this grunt, who almost takes out Fountain on the switch, but he survives, and we switch to Nuts to make sure we don't die. We then move past the tree line and find an Ninkada egg, which actually gives us two Pokemon when it evolves. Now that we have explored everything, we construct the perfect team to take on the next Pulse Pokemon. Now with a different added type of rock instead of poison. Dropping down into the destroyed gym, we see a man inside named Taka, who doesn't seem bothered by me trying to stop him. Suddenly, Grunt show themselves from the shadows and attempt to overwhelm me, while Heather drops in and we take on Taka. He starts off with an Execute and we start with Skewers, who can kill with a pin missile. Then they send in their chatter, so we switch to Peanut who resists the chatter but also makes us confused. We then nuzzle to get the guaranteed paralysis and they hit us again with the resisted chatter. We then hurt ourselves in confusion twice in a row and get taken down into the red. Risking Peanut, we kill with Electro Ball, then they go into Pulse Tangrowth. So we switch to Tortilla who can resist the incoming Rock Tomb and pivot into Lemon Juice. However, I forgot Tangrowth has Arena Trap, which prevents us from switching, and after a few uproars, Tortilla goes down. We then switch to Lemon Juice, who can get the Intim off, and can hit hard with an Air Cutter, taking it down to the red, while we get hit with a Rock Tomb, doing just over half, allowing us to outspeed and kill the Tangrowth. Defeating Taka, Heather gives us an escape by flying on her Salamence. Disappointed it didn't fall, Heather's father appears and attempts to scold Heather, but she doesn't care and flies away. Reorganising the team, we find another police officer, along with Lam the Marine. Heading up into Beryl, we get Bubblegum the Drifloo, Broccoli the Pansage, and enter Rhydocrine Jungle to find a Tangler named Ginger. I then fall for the, this stupid trap while I speed up and get knocked out by Nuzleaf. Waking up, we see Fern outside the cage mocking us and offering to help us if we beg. We refuse and they leave. After waiting a bit, a chatot appears to free us and gives us a message mimicking a voice. We then move over to find Kane also trapped, so we free them and get help from Heather to open the gate for us. They both leave, allowing us to explore the jungle to the fullest. And after exploring for a while, we encounter a grunt who manages to kill Fountain, thanks to Boldor's sturdy ability and getting four hits in a row. Multi-attack moves suck. Moving on after that disaster, we drop down this trap and make our way over to the pool of water to encounter Sour Patch the Chinchinel and Snake the Survivor. We then find two more police officers who are trapped and proceed to get both Deer, the Stantler, and Kiwi the Taylo. After this, we find the ill-fated doll along with Growlithe, looking down a hole to see the last remaining policeman, crumpled due to the collapse. With that, we go back to the police station to report, and as thanks, the chief gives us Orange the Growlithe, as it no longer has a partner. Talking to one of the police officers, we find that his partner was stolen by Team Meteor, and would trade us an egg he found in exchange. So, we got the egg, and it was a trap inch egg. And so, we go on a hatching spree. Getting Grasshopper, the Ninkada, Dragonfruit, the Trap Inch, Blubber, the Sfeel, and Taco Bell, the Bronzor. 
as well as getting Plum the Makuhita in the slums. Then, we get the team together in order to counter the setting up tank growth. We bring Hot Wings, Onion, Kiwi, Sour Patch, Gumball, and Plum. Walking in, we see Borealis, Zell, Taka, and Ace surrounding us. However, Borealis notices Amaria hiding and calls her out. We are still outnumbered until Fern and Kane drop in and even the playing field. Then, Heather takes center stage on Salamence, provoking them to send in their private to take care of them, leaving Ace and the Pulse to us. Ace starts off with Tangrowth, holding a Telluric Seed. Seeds in this game change depending on the field the Pokemon is in, and is usually beneficial to the opponent in these types of fights, but in this case it puts up a spiky shield. Tangrowth then goes for Taunt and we get off our speed boost. Then we double kick them to kill them to now reveal Zora. I <laughs> gotcha, you thought it was the false and everything. <laughs> anyway. They send in Brakeson, who can definitely kill with Psy Beam, so I pivot into Onion to neutralize it and go into Sour Patch, who resists the Fire Spin. She then withdraws to send in their shiny Roselia, and we hit with a weak Bubble Beam and get the speed drop. So we switch to Kiwi, who can resist the Giga Drain and hit back with Aerial Ace. Then they switch in the shiny Bolt Toy, so we switch again into Onion, knowing it's going for Rock Tomb. So, we combo him with Fake Out and Assurance. Then comes in Brakeson, and we again switch to Sour Patch, who can resist the Fire Spin and leave Brakeson with a sliver. Procking their Citrus Berry, they fail to hit Hypnosis. We then finish them off while taking some of the Residue Fire Spin damage. And then the real Pulse comes in. So, we switch to Gumball, our own ace, which has Clear Smog removing their buffs and dealing minimal damage until they realize they can't set up anymore. And we switch to Plum, who can barely drum freely, healing with an Orange Berry and killing with Force Palm. After Ace's defeat, Heather is thrown across the battlefield by the Private. Borealis then gets worried about Heather, showing his true colors. Amaria then steps in to fight off the recruit and lets us both escape, making our way around to see a street rat trying to trouble us. But in reality, it's the police in disguise, here to put Borealis under arrest. It is then revealed that it's actually a retired gym leader named Corey Molinar. He then escapes in some poisonous smoke, and the chief deduces he's heading to the gym. After that revelation and some off-screen grinding, we get a bunch of coins to get TM's substitute, for Chade, and Attract. Along with our prize corner encounter being a Nidoran male named King Brawl. We then get our Beryl Cemetery encounter, Chicken Legs, the Doduo, and the event Pokemon Lizard, the Helioptile. Entering his old gym, we figure out the police officers are in a hypnotic state. We then solve the puzzle inside and find Corey, taking care of an unconscious Heather. So, you found me after all. You've already ruined everything I've worked for. What more do you want? No. Perhaps it, perhaps it is wrong to blame you. Once again, words are pointless. Miserable as it is for an old man backed into a corner like me to make a request. There's something I must ask of you. I'll return to the arena. There, you should defeat me properly. And that's it for this episode. If you're enjoying it, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I upload. Like, and if you made it this far in the video, comment your favourite name so far. It really helps with the algorithm and pushes my content on the platform. I hope to see you all again in the next episode. Until next time. Reorganising the team, we find another Polifa... Polif... Polif. <laughs>